In one of my most recent videos, I showed off how to tile windows in XFCE, but that was just using keyboard shortcuts to manually tile windows to the top corner, bottom corner, what have you. You know, just like you can in GNOME, KDE, and various other desktop environments. But let's take it a step further. Today, I want to show how to get even more of the best of both worlds, you know, between XFCE and tiling window managers. Let's get the XFCE panel working in i3. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So this is my i3 desktop. You can see the i3 bar across the bottom of the screen here, but I've also got the XFCE panel here. And everything works except for a couple of things that you know, that have to do with theming and stuff. So you're not going to want to remove LX appearance because if you click all settings and go to appearance and change the fonts, if you change the font here, it's not going to change anything here. You're going to want to still change that in LX appearance. But other than that, the panel works flawlessly. You still have your audio interface. My VPN still works. My logout log, login screens work. Uh, my calendar still works. Everything's great. So so let's look at how to get in, how to get this working in i3. Let's open a terminal. Mod and enter. Let's go to the i3 config. vim.config slash i3 config. And this down here at the bottom at the bottom of the screen this is the command that you want right here execute or exec no startup id xfce4 panel disable wm check now of course you're going to want this installed now yep, you're going to want the xfce4 panel and the whisker menu and everything installed but since i had it installed in on my system anyway i didn't have to do all that so when you actually add this to, to your config and you hit colon WQ to quit mod shift and R to refresh it's not going to show up more than most likely because it's not an execute always so once you uh, you're going to have to log out and then log back in for this for it to show up and then you'll have the XFC panel in i3 and this has been absolutely great so that's about all I've got for today uh, getting the XFCE panel working in i3 was a pretty painless experience and it's added some functionality that I felt like it was missing or but I know a lot of the tiling window manager peers out there they're they're not gonna like this but this isn't their system. This one is on mine. So, <laughs> I, but yeah, I, I have really, really enjoyed it so far. And if you'd like to try it out, feel free. This is this has been pretty painless and it works well. Thank y'all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a nice day.